Today I'll be reviewing the Small Smith's Pocket Power, which is a small, light, compact, multi-purpose knife sharpener which is very easy to use for in the home or whilst out in the field backpacking, camping and fishing etc. In this video I'm going to show you how to sharpen your knife and also the many features of this product. The main features of this product are lanyard hold for easy carrying in the field, recessed finger grip for easy holding while sharpening, preset carbide blades for coarse sharpening, preset ceramic blades for fine sharpening and a folding tapered diamond rod for serrations and gut hooks. The folding tapered diamond rod is impregnated with a medium 400 diamond grit which is great for use on standard blades, serrated edges and gut hooks. The preset angle of the fine ceramic blades allow you to add a fine sharp edge to your knife blade with only 8 to 10 pulls through the ceramic slot, helping you maintain a sharp edge with ease. It should be noted that ceramic blades are only replaceable. The preset angle of the carbide coarse blades allow you to quickly sharpen a dull knife with ease, which sets a new edge to the blade for fine sharpening. A blade with a damaged edge only requires 4 to 6 pulls through the carbide slot, unless the blade has been made from very hard steel, to which more pulls will be required to achieve the desired result. The carbide blades are both reversible and replaceable, meaning you get twice as much use out of your knife sharpener. I am now going to show you how to sharpen a flat grind on both sides. Place the Smith Pocket Pow on a flat, sturdy surface. Ensure all your fingers are kept away from the slot before you begin so as to prevent any injury. To repair a damaged or very dull blade, place the knife in the carbide slot. Tilt the knife handle down and pull the knife from the heel to the tip while maintaining a light downward pressure. Simply repeat the process until sharp. Place the Smith Pocket Pow on a flat, sturdy surface. Ensure all your fingers are kept away from the slot before you begin so as to prevent any injury. To repair a dull blade, place the knife in the ceramic slot. Tilt the knife handle down and pull the knife from the heel to the tip while maintaining a light downward pressure. Simply repeat the process until sharp. I'm now going to show you how to sharpen a serrated edge or gut hook. First we need to extend the tapered diamond rod. Hold the pocket power in one hand and the knife blade with a serrated edge in the other. You'll notice there is a different angle to the grind on a serrated edge or gut hook. We need to match this angle when applying the diamond rod against the cutting edge that we wish to sharpen. Once you have matched the angle of the grind, push the rod through with a light pressure using a clockwise rolling action and repeat the process till you've reached the desired result. It should be noted that some gut hooks may require sharpening on both sides. Once you have completed sharpening all of your serrations on the blade, place the blade in the ceramic slot and lightly pull through two or three times to remove any burr material that may have been created during the first sharpening process. So as to prolong the life of your sharpener, wipe off any debris using a small brush or a damp cloth that has been soaked in extra virgin oil, since it has better properties than other oils used in the kitchen. You should never rinse your sharpener under water. It's now time for me to give you my opinion of this particular product, which is a very small, lightweight, multifunctional sharpening tool. The tool itself only weighs 26 grams with an overall length of 8 centimeters and 1 centimeter in thickness. The actual tool itself has three individual sharpening purposes, one being diamond, the other being carbide, and the other one being ceramic. Other type of sharpeners that you may use in the kitchen or in the field, especially in the field, may not have the added advantage of a tapered diamond rod allowing you to sharpen such things as serrated edges or gut hooks. 
which is a big advantage. The actual tool itself is very easy to use. Now, I actually used this on knives that didn't have a very high carbon content. However, I did actually notice that the knives were a lot sharper than they were previously to using the actual sharpen to sharpen them with. So out of all in all, I think this is a must for all those who actually go out camping, canoeing, fishing, etc. As it's very lightweight, easy to use, and something you should really have in your, in your backpack. Because at the end of the day, a dangerous knife is a blunt knife. And that applies to all people, whether you be in the kitchen or in the field. So I have to give this possibly maybe an 8 out of 10 for ease of use and its multifunctional purpose. Just before I go, I'd like to thank Smith for allowing me to review this product. I have many more reviews to bring to you in the near future, so please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye for now.